Yo, what's good? How's it going? You're watching Dragon Dating Simulator. Also known as Angels with Scaly Wings. What a name. Alright, so this dragon uh, came to us, uh, came with us to brunch and is kind of having an attitude, so let's see what's going on. I'll finish my drink quietly then if that's what you prefer. I guess you don't like questions. Excuse me, princess. You know, go for it. You know what that's a, it, apparently. You know what that's a reference to? What? The freaking uh, Zelda show. Did you ever see that? No. <laughs> it's like a really bad uh, 80s Zelda cartoon. That we're like Link, oh, Link shit, talks. Like that. Oh no. Oh shoot. Oh no. <laughs> it's just getting silent for the rest Dang, of the episode. Just got way too serious. I love my job. I love it so much that even in my free time, I still do, think, do things that have to do with biology. Uh, let's see. Mm -hmm. With the current influx of work, maybe you should do something else for a change. Maybe, but right now that's not really an option. She she makes this face a lot. Suppose I'm on their watch list or something. Why is that? It's a long story and not one for a first date. So you're saying this is a date. No, I'm saying that even if this was a date, which would be more than whatever this is, it would be very appropriate. Stories about work aren't very romantic. I'm just like, I wouldn't vibe with this dragon. Yeah, she's way too uptight. Yeah, yeah. Like, come on, you're on a break. Let's take your mind off of that for once. Like what? Do you have any other hobbies? Not really. Hey, waitress. Hey, Schmarkish, you can call me by my name. <laughs> Any games? Oh, yeah. Do you guys have Dragon Jenga? Jumbo Jenga? Uh, Jumbo with a D, J. I'm being Jumbo cute and Jenga. spontaneous? <laughs> or just wait and you'll see. <clears throat> what exactly are you trying to do? What should we say? Just wait and you'll see? It's all up to you, Albie. Oh, I just want to. Between I, those two, I just want the viewers, everybody at home watching this, to know that whatever decision we make, Albie and I are not attracted to these dragons. <laughs> but of course, me saying that probably made our case even worse. <laughs> uh, I think I think a big cue spontaneous. All right, all right. Hey, hey okay, I'll, okay. I'll remember this day for good or bad. I'm not sure yet. Interesting. It's more for the kids, but we don't really have anything else. Fine, thanks. Have fun. What did she bring us? A board game. I know it's not Nizzy's textile merchant, but I suppose it's better than nothing. Textile merchant. What is it? It's a game. Is that a real thing? I don't know. You, yeah, know. you know about all the good board games, Alby. Uh, not Settle that one. Settlers of Catan and all that good stuff. It's a trivia game. Do you have any general knowledge? Do you know what kind of advanced knowledge I have to memorize and work with every single day? All right, then let's do it. Oh. Let's make a bet. What do you have in mind? Let's say if I win, I get to go on a real date with you. No fitting me in during your break. No complaining about everything and no acting as if you're doing me a favor. I wouldn't say it like that. I don't know why I'm reading it so aggressively. <laughs> <laughs> no being a... <laughs> if I win... Oh, then we can't lose. Yeah, dang. Oh, just run more tests on me. Uh, if that's what you want, so be it, yeah? Yeah. Let's do this. In. I like the answer. I cannot agree to that. <laughs> that would be such a mood killer. All right, we take turns drawing cards and answering questions until we get a number that we agree on before, and we until we've both asked a number that we agree on beforehand. Whoever gets more right in the end wins. How is this a board game? This is a card game. Okay. All right. Three questions. She's got a long break and she's chilling at the yeah. coffee shop. I saw mischief in her eyes. She seemed confident that she would win and loved every second of it. Slowly, her hand... Is that what they're called? They got hands? All right. Oh! Oh, round one. Whoa. All right, all right. Here we go. <laughs> Why is that like a communist propaganda flag? Who is cited as one of our more important historians with his work spanning over 20 books credited with mapping out our entire history since the beginning of sentience? Hazik Akil. It is, right? Yeah. 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 Oh, thank you, Remy. How could you even know something oh, like that? You've I only guess been I was here wrong. For... No, no, you were right. Right? How could you even know something like that? You've only been here for what a few days. We got it right. Oh, okay, okay, we got she... it right. Uh, dude, thanks, Remy. Maybe you shouldn't underestimate me. It was a lucky guess or not a good start. It was a lucky guess. You won't be so lucky again. Oh, that's scary. Blue blush. All right, what should we ask her for our first question? <clears throat> How far can you walk into the woods? Only until the middle. After that, anything, you're walking out of the woods again. Oh, okay. That's not trivia. That's a riddle. Yeah. That's, that wasn't trivia. 
That's a rather weird question, though. Okay, I suppose I read the right kind of books growing up. I know most of those trick questions. Let's see what the second question has in store for you, shall we? Bam. Look at that. Do you feel taken by the gaze? All right. If there are five apples and you take away three, how many do you have? Wait. If there are five apples and you take away three, how many do you have? You have three. Yeah. Right? Because you take away three. Yeah? That's a trick question. Because you also know your trick questions. Oh! Okay, here's your question. In which year of our timeline did we gain sentience? Zero. The beginning of our timeline marks the event when we gain sentience. Oh, she's smart. Why are we asking her about her history? Have you played this game before? It's a children's game. These questions aren't really a challenge. I'll just go ahead and draw the next card so we can end this. Alright, what's the question going to be? Where is... Osama bin Laden. <laughs> I, I don't know. An adventurer who values his life has to choose between three rooms to cross. Which of the following would be the safest? Room one, a room filled with poison gas. Room two, a room filled with 100 highly trained assassins. Room three... Dude, your daughter asked me this riddle the other day, so I know the answer. Do you? What yeah, the yeah. How did she ask you this question? She was like, she was giving me riddles. And she like, I, I, I was just... I forget what riddle like I was giving like really simple ones and she asked me this one I know right so a room filled with poisonous gas a room filled with 100 highly trained assassins or a room submerged in water filled with alligators that have not eaten in eight months the room filled with poisonous gas I'm almost certain is the right answer because you can just hold your breath and walk through the room yeah that's that's supposedly the answer to the riddle I think so too all right, I'm gonna trust. I trust the answer. Nope. In fact, all rooms are equally deadly. Alligators can go up to two years or more without food, making room three as deadly as the others. The other two rooms should not require any explanation. Wait, did I read the question wrong? Wait, what? I I feel like I read the question wrong. I thought we got that right. What's the question? Which would be the safest? Yeah. The room filled with poisonous gas. And she says, nope. The question is poorly worded. <laughs> Wait, should, should we say that or should we say this is ridiculous? I don't even know what to say to that. The question is poorly worded, right? Yeah. Don't blame me, I didn't make the game. Looks like it's gonna be the last question. Okay, we, we got that one right. I swear, I swear that was the answer to the riddle. You can just hold your breath or you can like crawl under the poison. Or no, no. Now I remember, it was like one of the rooms had like electric wires hanging down and you just crawl under them. That was the answer. It's kind of a dumb riddle, honestly. Oh, so we should have finished the second one. Maybe, yeah. What is the approximate acceleration speed of a nosediving flyer? I'll have to think about that one for a minute. I was just kidding. I still could have calculated that. Here's the real question. What's the only substance that, where's Reza? <laughs> answer the question. Uh, water. That seems to be correct. Of course it is, duh. Just look at that, I won. Wait, did she? No! This turned out to be more fun than I expected. Of course, the main reason is that I still won. I get it, you won. You're great, etc. That's true. So when do I come in for tests? Actually, I'm not sure if I get a spot for them in the facility anytime soon, but I'll be sure to let you know. What I'm wondering is, if, could you actually have won? That's what I'm wondering too. Like, was there even an option to win? Oh, but you know, this wasn't so bad after all. Maybe I'll let you have your date. Really? Well, sure, you didn't win, but you earned it nonetheless, or maybe I'm just that nice. Okay. <laughs> well, it's up to you. Call me if you're interested. I'll let you know. Okay. I'm still gonna collect my prize, though. Okay, here's my blood. <laughs> yeah. No, no. Different fluids this time. Sweat. Saliva. Uh, mucus. I'm not sure what I expected out of this encounter, but it certainly wasn't this. After all, proposing a proper date was my way of sticking it to her for being rude. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. sure. Sure, buddy. Even though I lost the bet, she didn't seem to mind going on a date with me. As long as she got what she wanted. Whether I'd follow it up was, <laughs> was on me, though. Alright, well. Whoa, whoa. What is happening? Oh, grief. Superstition. Chapter 3. Oh, wow. Good for us. That's scary. It's ominous. Oh, who's that? That's, that's Maverick, bro. You see his shadow next to the portal? Oh, man. What if he's really human? Do you think so? Do you think they'd pull something like that? Like they can transform into humans? Probably. 
The morning sun declared the arrival of the new day. The peaceful landscape outside the apartment stood in defiance of these old thoughts. Rolling hills and blue sky were familiar to me now. What's going on? We're getting a call. Oh! Shmarkish, please come with me. What's going on? You sound serious. Uh-oh. The chief will explain everything. Alright, chief. Alright, let's see what's going on. We're back at the biology lab. Hey, chief. Shmarkish is here. Thanks. You can deal with the situation while I talk to Shmarkish. Alright. Hey, did that kill that one girl? Oh, oh, yeah. oh, no. I've got really bad news. Well, what is it? You know Anna, right? I've met her, yes. Bro. I don't know how to say this. Dread sank in. I already knew. Don't. I ignored his words and walked past him. <gasps> Bro. <laughs> that was actually, like, got me. I didn't expect She'd that rather, to happen. She would rather kill herself than go on a Yeah, you think? <laughs> oh, my gosh. There's no mistaking it. She was haphazardly covered by his sheet. Oh, man. Wow. I don't know. I don't know oh. if I'm okay. We just, we just got to know this dragon. Let's just get this over with. All right. There's more bad news. The blood we found on the first victim in town matches the DNA evidence found on the second victim at the power facility. Furthermore, the murder weapon and the method appear to be the same across all three victims, and that's going to be a big problem for you. Why is that? Because with these three murders, Reza now qualifies as a serial killer. We won't be able to keep this whole thing quiet for much longer. Higher authorities, including the ministry in charge of your whole visit, will know about this soon. I have no idea what will happen once they do. I'm not sure what to say to that. I don't want to worry you, but we can be sure that the action will, you can be sure that action will be taken soon. Take action before the ministry does, and before this all becomes public. It's too dangerous for you to stay here. No. No? This would be the worst possible time for me to leave. Reza's still missing. If I leave now, I return home. All I return home with is my life. I've lost everything else. We need those generators, Bryce. I had no idea if your authorities will continue to uphold our deal. I'm not leaving until this is over. If that's your decision, so be it. Anyways, let's get back on track. I called you for a reason. Several things were stolen after the murder. Among your PDAs, batteries, and some components used to build generators. Nope, Reza might have some knowledge of the electronics. Dang! Dude, this, this got crazy. I can't believe she died. I was actually looking forward to seeing what uh, the date would be like. I think the dragon got killed. <clears throat> Mar uh, Maverick? Yeah. Maybe. He was like, what are you doing to that human? Dead. Are we done here? Pretty much. I just got a message from the higher-ups. You and Schmarker showed to report to the Ministry of Culture and Arts immediately. Oh, we can see his girlfriend now. Uh-oh, yeah, seriously. What's going on? I don't know... This is an extre extraordinary situation, uh, yeah. So the worst possibility, maybe it's not going to be a big deal, maybe they're going to throw a surprise party for us. <laughs> well, maybe. Well, yeah. <laughs> Alright, let's, uh, let's say that. Yeah, probably not. <laughs> Sebastian, you can finish up here, go to the ministry when you're done. Dang, sure thing, Chief. Bye-bye. Let's go then, shall we? It's not like we have a choice. Well, Alright. We tried to line up the mood. <laughs> Dang, yeah, I know. Oh! Oh, I forgot about her. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, what a horrid dragon. Okay, yeah, that's that's mean. I shouldn't call her ugly, but you know. Hey, man, she she loves our friend. This, yeah, this dragon, you're right. You know what, we should be nice about her. Well, okay, this is getting heavy, so we're going to stop the episode here. We'll see you guys next time when we go to the Ministry of Culture and Arts. Figure out who's getting all these murders. It's Maverick. It's Maverick. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. <laughs>